You don't have to like it. Everybody gets a court summons at some point in their life. And they're like, holy fuck, they're summoned to court for a ticket. Whatever it is. Whatever it is, people get court summons because you're legally dead. Officially. You're lost at sea. You only summons the dead. It's clear. You're lost at sea, officially dead. You only summons the dead. You're a monster by legal definition. You're lost at sea. You gave up the land. You gave up your soul. The devil already has you in the Vatican. And you're oblivious to what's going on. You're legally dead. You're a fucking retard. You better get to my channel for truth immediately. In the show Supernatural on CW, they only flash this x-ray for just a moment. And if you take a closer look at it, you see the sun and you see the arrow pointing down. The sun places its light into the hole at the center of the dish. X marks the spot. This is the way out of the earth. The way out of the matrix. The straight and narrow. You're in the rib cage right now. You're in the brick shit house, And the exit out is where every compass is pointing to. There's no way to fuck this up. You'd have to be fucking retarded not to see it. That it's a flat earth plane and every compass is pointing to the holy grail. It's right over there at the center of the dish. There's no way to fuck it up. That's where you'll drink from the living waters and get eternal life. It's just that simple. And if I don't make videos, you're fucking dead because everybody you know is filthy fucking retarded. So for those of you who've been following my channel, you know about this blood over intent and how this blood running through your veins is spiritual currency. And I spilt my blood over my intent, published it to the Ethernet, and shortly after that, I got the eyes to see the truth. And I got the Holy Spirit. I can see where the Holy Grail is. I know what the fuck is going on. And you can see by my videos, I'm like light years ahead of everybody. So... It makes sense that your blood is the philosopher's stone. You know, you go through the alchemical process where you're in the end looking for the elixir of immortality and to pass into the Garden of Eden. That's the end game of alchemy. And, you know, when I spilt my blood up over my intent to bring forth heaven and earth, I got the Holy Spirit. I went through the alchemical transmutation. I went from lead to gold. I could see that everybody's legally dead and this world is mine. And nobody can stop me. I have the favor of the goddess of the earth. And uh, you think you're on a ball floating through space is an accident. Uh, you lost your divinity. The devil already has your soul in the Vatican. Your soul satanic Luciferian. You can't even see it if I don't spell it out for you. It's, it's funny. But uh, you think blood is like demonic or something. Uh, I have a bunch of donation certificates that state I was saving people's lives with my blood all those years. And I gave up gallons of blood. And then I directed all that energy at heaven on earth under the name of the Prince of Darkness Speaks. And I could see that that's Helios above your head, that you're in hell right now. That everybody's saying, hell, oh, and you have a double helix. And how's your health and help? So make no mistake about it. Everybody around you is legally dead. Necrophiliacs, by legal definition, they're monsters lost at sea, officially dead. The devil took your soul from you at birth, your parents gave it up willingly, and you're oblivious to what's going on to you. You're legally dead. You have no right to any land. By legal definition, you're a bastard child illegitimate. And uh, you gave away your soul for nothing. So, when you wake up, you realize, my God, I'm right. And uh, that would make me the prince of darkness to you, because now everybody is dead to you. Everybody, you try to wake up, they're going to say, no, I'm on a ball floating through space as an accident. I stem from a monkey. And that's not the case. And uh, they think the sun is millions of miles away when the sun is only 3,000 miles away from you at high noon. It's 32 nautical miles in diameter. It's a disc like you put on your tongue at church. It spirals in and spirals out, bringing the seasons. And uh, at Christmas time, it, on the 21st of December, the sun dies on the cross, and then it starts after three days moving backwards the other direction like the light on your porch where you get sun for your plants will go from one side of the porch or disappear as the sun spirals inward and outward each day moving in another degree and in another degree so what I'm telling you is that like the candy cane shows you that the sun drips its men's true all blood into the holy grail at the center of the dish where every compass points to that this place is fixed it's like in a light bulb it's one electron balanced by a positron it's one light hole and one black hole on loop through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish where the astral jet comes shooting out, the Aurora Borealis. And, you know, you're going to want to place your blood beside my own 
side by side, blood is thicker than water. Show that you're alive because everybody else out there is legally dead. This world is mine. And uh, it's clear who holds the spear of destiny and it's clear who is the prince of darkness. If I woke you up, you're going to say, my God, everybody's dead. They're, oh my God, you can't wake anybody up because they're, they're lost at sea. They're officially dead. They're so far beyond reality. It's just, it's crazy. It's just not even funny. So, listen. In a couple years, I'm going to the Holy Grail. You can come with me if your blood's beside my own. It's just that simple. 